some disturbing details coming to light about Shonda Vander Ark, a mom in Norton Shores, now charged with murder in her teen son's death. News 8's Byron Tollefson is live at the Muskegon County Courthouse with why prosecutors issued murder charges. Byron? The prosecutor just told us that 15-year-old Timothy Ferguson had special needs. He died from malnutrition and hypothermia. Shanda Vanderark made her first court appearance this afternoon on murder and child abuse charges. Prosecutors said that she apparently punished her son by not feeding him or giving him only bread with hot sauce on it. She also had him sit in ice baths, likely explaining the hypothermia. Prosecutor DJ Hilson tells us it's hard to describe these horrific allegations. I've been at this job for over 20 years, and you know the things that walk through this door on a day in and day out basis are horrific and traumatic. Uh, but I can safely say that within my career, this is probably one of the more sadistic and tragic events that I've ever uh, seen and, and witnessed and been a part of. A big question in this case is why Timothy was even in his mother's care. In court today, prosecutors said that from 2009 to 2012, Child Protective Services in Oklahoma investigated her and recommended her parental rights be terminated. Prosecutors say in 2012, she agreed to leave the home and not have custody of her children to avoid a court order terminating her rights. Prosecutor Hilson tells us they believe Timothy came to the Muskegon area to be with his mother in May of 2021. I talked with his biological father on the phone. He did not want to comment. A seven-year-old child that lived in that home in Muskegon County is now with the Department of Health and Human Services. We also learned that Vanderark was actually working to become an attorney. She graduated from law school last year and told the judge she was currently working as a clerk in Nuevo County. But tonight she is in the Muskegon County Jail held without bond. Live in Muskegon, Byron Tollefson, News 8.